But would you want to date a 19 year old or a 20 year old if you're a guy that's older? What would you have in common? Would you marry a girl in that? What would you have in common with a girl like that? I have an answer, but you go ahead, Mason. Yeah, yeah well, I, I don't think there has to be like, it depends what you mean by have in common. So commonality, like I, I probably would have a lot of things in common with women who are 19, 20 yeah, years old. Yeah, because you're in the same so like bracket. okay well well i'm like uh, 27 so i'm getting mm -hmm. up there yeah. but yeah yeah exactly but if you were Somewhat, 40 or 45 so 40 45 even then like okay that is that is quite the distance yeah. but uh especially as a christian man like mm -hmm. as long as we have god in common as long as there are like if we have the same goals if she wants to step behind me in yeah. my aspirations if she wants to help me achieve my mission in life yeah i mean i i, I don't see the problem with dating someone who's significantly younger no. than you do you, do you <clears throat> so i'll answer that question yeah. so you ask what does an older man have in common with a younger woman um, very much younger i'm not saying young but very much say you're you're 45 and she's 20. okay sure um so it's not about having something in common it's what people find attractive. Because yes. do you think that, is having things in common a high priority for any of you when choosing a partner? Yes. yes. I doubt, I highly. No, for it, me, it is very, very important. Yeah, for women. Very it's important. Certain, I, you might say that, but I, I highly doubt that commonalities for men or women are high on the totem pole when it comes to who you're going to find attractive Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like, if I find a dude okay. attractive and I, I date him saying now. for for like physically two months, attractive, right? Yeah, for right. two months, and he's we have nothing in common. It's just the sex. What? Like I don't build my relationships on sex. Mm. I just do not because that's not how. Yeah, I but you am. can. Okay, so. you know, like, that'll only take you so far. Kind of like a guy says, "Oh, a woman's you attractive." It's okay. the same thing for us. Like we yeah. don't need just you, a guy to be a Chad for us. Yeah. Like, for, we don't need a so Chad. You don't no, no, no. But let me ask. Okay, so. Have you ever, because if commonality mm -hmm. is the ultimate or the penultimate thing when it comes to deciding if you want to sleep with somebody mm -hmm. or have a relationship mm -hmm. or marry them, I'm sure there's been plenty of men that all of you here have had tons in common with, but you didn't want to date them because you didn't find them attractive or they didn't meet some other no, metric. No. So commonality is frankly irrelevant or I very low on the totem pole of what's important for both men and women when it comes to who we decide to partner with. Disagree. Now, there's Agree certain disagree. things. It's there's shared there's values. Yeah. There's shared values, but commonality. If a girl doesn't like the same music as me, I no, don't I don't. I don't care. mean. I don't but like, um, chemistry is important, like, and if you have too many differences, not, you will not but, have chemistry and yeah. in rhythm with another person. You know what I mean? It's like you're not talking isn't, about music. But, okay, but what like what, what do these women like? What does yeah. a woman have in common? Like, let's say she makes. Forty thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. What does she have in common with a guy who makes one million dollars a year? Should she not be attracted to him because she doesn't have that commonality with him? No. I can tell you why that woman is attracted to him because he makes a one million dollar year. The and end. I can tell you why <laughs> men are attracted to young women because they're beautiful. Yeah. And they're I'm they're, not more, they're, they're more I'm fertile. Not they're more fertile. They're more fertile. Lower body okay. count. Less past That's not relationship. Not necessarily true. I mean, yeah. I know a lot of young girls yes. have been. They're well, nights yeah, at, at a it. bar every weekend. Yes, like, but young, a young woman is more light. What can I say? Like, do you, I, not, I know you're saying in an attract, just physical attraction yeah. way. <clears throat> do you think it's more of like preference? Because I know that like when I was 20, like I was like very skinny. And now like I'm 31 and I have like the curves that like most men like. Yeah. So I think I'm definitely more attractive now. I definitely get more attention now. Um, uh, so maybe it's like, do you think it's a preference thing that like some guys yeah. might like, cause I know, I know guys that like really young girls mm -hmm. and I know guys that find it kind of creepy when a girl's like 19, mm -hmm. like they don't yeah, find yeah. that attractive at oh, all. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. it's more of like a preference Personal. thing. I mean, it's a preference. Yeah. Well, I would they, assume. they, <clears throat> truthfully, they probably find it creepy because society has tried to pathologize men's innate attraction triggers and preferences. 
Uh, no, because I think also the thing that we're forgetting, and this there is actual statistic data that will back this up, the birth rate across the board has gone down. So pr having children is clearly not a societal priority as much as it used to no. be. And data will not, and you can you can look it up. Yeah. It, no, there's yeah. a, lot, a lot of data that will back this. So I think that people's preferences will change now that their objectives are clearly changing. Well, I, no, not, I don't think the, really. uh, the birth rate. I disagree rate. because I'm busy with people who have very different, and I, I think it's literally it's not, just different when, when it comes to yeah. when it comes to men's preference for younger women, because, for example, the fertility argument, younger women are more f are, are more fertile. Uh, that's not something that's even necessarily intellectualized by men. Oh, she's young; she's more capable of bearing children. It could be, however, like let's say there's a guy who's 35, 40, and he wants to have a family. He wants to have kids. He hasn't had that yet. He's probably like a 40 year old guy. He's probably going to look at a woman in her late 20s, early 30s versus a woman closer to his age because a woman who's, look, women up until mid 40s can still get pregnant. But uh, your best bet for having a kid is like late or late 20s, early 30s. Yeah. Well, after you hit 35, your chance of getting pregnant starts decreasing. Uh, but wait, so, then how does that play into guys wanting relationships with 19 year olds? Then? Well, it's kind of like well, biologically programmed <laughs> like, into yeah. you. Because they I were so, we were talking about attraction. I thought we were talking, about, attract we were we talking about attraction. Yeah, I'm really yeah. Now. I thought wait, it was so, an attraction thing. I know, like, but, but that the I'm attraction confused. for like, men is because of. Yeah, that. Okay, yeah. They're attracted to younger women because they know women it's built into a man yeah. to find a younger well, woman attractive generally speaking mm -hmm. if if women who are in their 35 like 30s and 40s uh they typically nowadays will have squandered their their fertility in yeah. singleness yeah so they have wasted their fertility so they've spent all of their 20s partying it up do live in a single lifestyle where they could have been using their fertility and finding a, a man who is going to sacrifice himself for them and give them the life that they probably really do want, but instead they wasted all that time. So when, as a man, I want to find a woman who is going to give me the best possible chance of having a successful relationship. And generally speaking, that's going to be with somebody who has less emotional baggage, less relationship baggage, um, and a higher likelihood of fertility. I mean, I, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't think we disagree. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's how it is. Like, the guys who are attracted to me are usually, like, men that are over 50 and usually, you know, they're divorced or, the, you know, they they have a kid. or you know, It's it's not guys that are young. Yeah. I mean, there, there are. I'm not saying mm. they're not. <laughs> I'm just saying majority of guys that are in my group that express oh i would date you or marry you or whatever or usually older they're either divorced or you know separated or whatever and i'm fine with that because i'm attracted to the same thing like look so. here's why men prefer younger women aside from the fertility well i mean i can mention this they're more physically attractive more emotionally available tend to be more romantic they have more energy and op they're more optimistic about the future. They have more time to live life, travel the world before starting a family. They're more fertile, less baggage, excuse me, less baggage and trauma, yeah. more open to new ideas, less stuck in their ways, stuck in a job city, more agreeable, tend to be easier to build a life with, um, typically also more grateful and easily satisfied, whereas a woman who's dated 20 other men who've provided X, Y, Z, they're going to be like, oh, okay. But usually, you have a Ferrari. My ex yeah, has a Ferrari, too. Usually cool. like, these women date guys that are usually also divorced, maybe have a couple of kids. You know, older girls don't go for younger guys eh. either, you know? <laughs> I, uh, there's, I, I mean, know. yes. There is some, but, some of yes, them do, uh, but, yes, but, but it's not for... Well, I men and women are attracted. There's not symmetry in what men and women are attracted to. Yeah. We're, we're both attracted to different things. Um, and just to add to the list here... Uh, younger woman's less likely to have children or a psycho ex. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. 